from the Plover Cove Reservoir, Hong Kong. Welcome to the GCN Show. From the Lake Washington Floating Bridge in Seattle, welcome to the GCN Show. From, from the, the top, top of La Pandera, welcome to the GCN Show. Welcome to the GCN Show. This week appeared to be the week of the Wacky World Championships. And as such, we have reports coming from the amazing artistic bike gymnastics and cycle ball from the recent UCI Indoor World Championships. Yeah, and we've also got the comeback of cyclocross legend Sven Nace. But this time it was at the World Championships of single speed cyclocross, which probably isn't exactly what he's used to. Mm. And don't worry, we'll have all of our usual segments too. Plus we make our first ever apology in relation to last week's hacks and bodges. And that apology is to the Japanese police force, no less. We have made plenty of apologies, haven't we? Just not specifically for hacks yeah. and not, bodges. And not, not to the not, Japanese not police Japanese force. No. Or any police we're, force, in we're fact. Sorry. We've got some good news. Have we? We have. Well, it's not good news for you, but <laughs> you have helped us surpass our initial target of raising enough money to get 150 Buffalo bikes through World Bicycle Relief. Now, at the time of recording this, you pledged nearly £15,000, which is just under $20,000, which means that Dan loses his hair. Oh. It does indeed. Thank you very much to everyone who has donated so far. It's been very much appreciated. You have got until, I think so, yeah. You have got until midnight this coming Friday, the 9th of, don uh, 9th of December, shall I say, to pledge your donations if you haven't done so already. www.justgiving.com forward slash global cycling network. Uh, thankfully, in some ways, for me, the beard is still safe. To get there, we have got to raise £28,500 or a little over $36,000. It's possible. Don't worry, mate. Anything we'll get there. Possible. We won't. We'll definitely get there. We will. Go. All we need is a couple of big corporate donors. Bang. All right. Well, we'll see how we go. We've got about three more days to do it. There have been some absolutely cracking events taking place over the last week, vastly different to normal racing events that we report on here on the GCN show. We're going to start off with the UCI's Indoor Cycling World Championships, and in particular, the event which stood out for me, which was the Artistic Bike event. Now, these guys and girls take skill levels on bikes to a whole new level. Quite frankly, some of the tricks that they pull off are mind-boggling. They're like, like acrobats on two wheels. To be fair, some people say that Matt Stevens is like an acrobat. Lots of people say that, actually. Yeah. But they haven't yeah. seen this, probably, if they're saying that about Matt. Yeah. Uh, Lisa Hattemer of Germany added a gold medal in the women's event to go with the silver and bronze Sweet. medals, which he'd already won in previous years. Now, I have to admit, my knowledge on these particular events is a bit lacking. Mine too. Yeah. But to quote from the UCI's website, Hattemer scored some crucial bonus points in the closing stages of her event by performing and completing several turns while stood on the handlebars. Whoa. Which is oh, right. definitely something I would be awarding bonus points to if I was a judge on the sideline. Well, I would as well, even for maybe like a stage finish at the Tour de France, like <laughs> for the green jersey. Yeah, yeah if you come across yeah. the line, stood on the handlebars, points. a few yeah. extra bonus seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Good idea. Again, so. I'll get it. Yeah. Uh, in the men's single event, it was Lucas Cole who took the rainbow bands all the way back to Germany. Right. Whilst There's a rainbow jersey. Yeah, it's a proper UCI sanctioned event. Every winner cool. gets a UCI jersey. Oh uh, he was fortunate in that his closest rival actually crashed whilst performing oh. a tricky trick in the closing stages of his routine. Whilst in the open doubles, it was Andre and Benedict Bugner. They took the medals and the gold medal for the fourth year in succession. So they're quite dominant in that discipline. I did not realise there was synchronised by gymnastics as well. There's loads more events. So we only reported on those three, but M you word. can't half wheel then, can you, basically? No, 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 no absolutely no half-wheeling, yeah. Do you those. know the thing that struck me from watching those clips? They're not wearing helmets. It seems particularly yeah. dangerous for no helmets. That, that did cross my mind as well. Mm. I reckon if I was going to attempt a handstand on some bars of a moving bicycle, I'd probably put a full-face helmet on. Well, every time I do cycle gymnastics, it's, it's helmet all the way for me. Every time I see you do bicycle gymnastics, I'll put a helmet on and run for cover. <laughs> anyway, there's going to be more Wacky World Championships coming up later in the show. 
We need your help with Tech of the Week this week because we're in the process of putting together a very special Tech of the Year show and we need you to help us decide which have been the best tech releases of the year. And it's going to be really, really tough because there's been some amazing tech out released onto the market. We've had new Shimano Durace, we've had new SRAM Ready Tap HRD, we've had the new Rotor Group set, the new FSA Group set, yeah. we've had a whole load of endurance bikes like the Trek Domani, the Specialized Roubaix, the Canyon Endurace, not even to mention the new batch of disc brake race bikes like the Giant TCR. It's been nuts. Yeah. I've forgotten just how much new tech there was actually. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, your job doesn't finish there because we would also like you to vote on your favourite pro team bike of 2016. Mm. Now we've got all of them covered in our pro bike playlist. So if you'd like to remind yourself as to who uses what, you can find them there. If you want to vote, and we sincerely hope that you do, you can find a link to the voting page in the description below this GCN show. Last week, we put out a video where Sai and Matt tested out the effectiveness of mudguards or fenders. And what that involved was riding through multiple puddles multiple times and also a little bit of roadside nakedness or semi nakedness. Was it, I was going to say it was mild it, nakedness, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. What are you trying to say? Oh, it was cold, wasn't it? Definitely cold. It well, we had a lot of comments beneath that video with some, some love for the actual mudguards that they were using and they were these. Yeah. The crud. Road Racer Mark III. There was a lot of love, and so we thought that seeing as we have one pair left, that we would give them away to one lucky GCN viewer. Although actually, luck isn't going to come into this. You need to deserve these mud guards, and therefore, we're going to need to see proof that you deserve them. Mm. Proof in the form of videos or photographs accompanied with the hashtag GCN Epic. So basically, we want to see we want you to explain via the medium of imagery why you deserve these mud guards. So, potholes, puddles of doom, muddy bikes, epic rides, basically you keeping your bum dry, really. Um, and the best will win this very pair. And we know they're remarkably effective because our bum was particularly dry. Or bums, plural, or bum. <laughs> oh, God. Back to Wacky World Championships week, and I personally was glued to social media for news coming out of the Single Speed Cyclocross World Championships. Now, I will admit, it was mainly because it was the comeback of cyclocross legend Sven Nace to competition. Although I use that word loosely, it was more like competition. If you don't necessarily know what is in store at the Single Speed Cyclocross World Championships, then I will try and put it into some kind of context, given what I've managed to piece together from the predominantly drunk social media that did come out of Portland, <laughs> Oregon. Now, there was a lake on the course, complete with person in a shark outfit. There was the giant dodgeball alley of doom. What happened in the giant dodgeball alley? I'm intrigued. Riders had to dodge giant balls coming in mud. Right, okay. <laughs> Almost literally. Uh, and then there was also an awful lot of beer throwing and heckling. Although, to be fair, that is kind of like Belgian cyclocross as well. Oh, and the winners also have to get commemorative tattoos. Oh, That's oh, compulsory. Oh, wow. So Sven Nace got a commemorative tattoo then? Well, funnily enough, Sven Nace didn't win. His, his Achilles heel of poor World Championship performances continued oh, to no. haunt him. He could only finish second. No, it was Adam Craig who took the win. Uh, one of many, in fact, at the Single Speed World Championship. He must have a few tattoos then, Adam, has he? Well, I think he does, yeah, loads. Did he get the same tattoo each year? I think they changed the date. <laughs> Makes sense. Oh, yeah, it does, yeah. Uh, right, in the women's event, it was Jessica Cutler who took the win. And not long after she'd finished her event, she tweeted this. I've won a couple of races throughout my career, but this is the only one that has ever mattered. Fair enough. Yeah, before we leave Single Speed Cyclocross, can we just give a little shout out to Sven Nace's bike? It is custom sprayed and made by Trek. It's their Trek Crockett. Look at that. that I have to amazing, say, the bike it? was not the first thing I looked at in that photo. No, I mean, kudos to the gentleman in a leotard oh, holding yeah. up that rather fine that specimen of a cyclocross bike. I mean, it looked pretty chilly. Yeah, I tell you what, you know what? I think we could learn something here at GCN from that man. Maybe that is how we should do pro bikes for 2017. Well, I think we should take that idea and run with it. Yeah. But anyway. We have more Wacky World Championships later in the show with... Bike Ball. Bike Ball. It's time now for Hack. For the slash bodge of the week. First up is this from Simon Cooper. Double stem, double bar, double trouble. 
basically a pair of bars on top of a pair of bars, but it's double stem, isn't it? Whichever way you look at it, that has got to be a bodge. There is no hack about double stems, does surely. does offer in multiple positions to ride, doesn't it? I do like his bike, that cone is mm -hmm. it's a nice bit of retro action right there, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, anyway, more... moving swiftly on from your bodge. Yeah, we've got an update actually on a couple of bodges and hacks from last week's oh. show. As Matt mentioned at the start of the show, we've actually got an apology too later on. But oh, first yeah. up, an update from Stefano Marazzi. Uh, we want to know what the Welly Award was on last we week's did. show. And the he has Welly told us. Apparently, Justin Gould had worn out his heel on his city, so he cut the bottom of an old welly boot and screwed it onto the city. And apparently, it's still working well six months later. I, oh, made, I made a heel on my specialised shoes a couple of years ago because they wore out because of walking around so much. I got an old inner tube, doubled it over, wrapped it in electrical tape, and then bound that with duct tape to my heel on both. So I had like heels on both my specialised uh, shoes, S-Work shoes. Nice I'm work, man. Got no, another, sorry. Got another six months out of that. I was about to lambast that guy for sticking a <laughs> welly boot on top of his, and I'll you just did it with gaffer tape. Oh my goodness me. Right. Inner tube. Moving up in the world, ever so slightly, to uh, Victory Akinyomo, uh, who said, my friend Frank from Rough Riders Velo has created bike storage with two old water bottle cages, which actually is surprisingly neat. Yeah, that's very neat. Not I bad, do like that. that. Yeah, fair enough. I quite like that. Is that a hack? Uh, yeah. yeah, I'd say hack. Uh, another one I thought you would like, Matt, is yeah, from Nine Dietra, also on Instagram. He says, City uh, Y with Speed Racer weatherproofed custom decals. That's, That's from cool. Battle of the Planets. Yep, I was going to say that myself, but I thought I'd let you show oh, Yeah, I love Battle of the Planets. Shoes like that. That's flipping amazing. Uh, right then, uh, DH Cole says, uh, can't believe these actually work. 3D printed brake blocks. Yeah. That's remarkable. They look amazing, don't they? I don't. That seems quite He's risky. He's on normal alley rims there, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't fancy those on carbon, would you? I wouldn't fancy making a brake blocks full stop. No. That seems like one component that you don't really want to mess around it's with. It's like wireless brakes, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, the first of two yeah. apologies. First one goes to Sam Murray. He's tried one of our GCN hacks mm. that we've gone through in a previous show and broken his nail clippers, trying to cut off the extra part of a zip tie. But sorry, luckily, Sam. sorry, it's Christmas Sam. time, you might get a pair of those in a cracker if he's lucky. Yeah, it's similarly poor quality that may well break Indeed. the first time of a zip tie. And then the second apology, as we mentioned in the show, is actually to the Japanese police force. Uh, we, <clears throat> we laughed at your bike uh, last week because we misunderstood it. We thought you had suspension made out of drain Plastic. pipes. But it turns <laughs> out that those are actually storage pipes for putting everything from flags to umbrellas and even riot batons in there. And that looks like remarkably efficient storage and it's storage definitely a hack. and forks. I mean, that's, well, not quite... No, they're, they're not storage That tubes. was the mistake yeah. we made last week. So that is one of the uh, best hacks of all time to the Japanese police force. Congratulations, yeah, guys. Well, that is amazing. Uh, if you've got any hacks or bodges ready for next week's show, don't forget to keep them sending them in on social media with the hashtag GCNHack. We do love them, don't we? Oh, I love them. Time now for caption competition. Last week, it was action in the sand at Cyclocross. And the winner, it's a good one, is Matthew Falk, who said, caption, bike dismount number eight, the sand still. Oh, I, I like love that. it. Puntastic. That's yourself, amazing. This bottle, or one very much like it. Nice work. Right, this week's caption photo, Brace yourselves, cover your eyes a little bit, because it's this one, again, from the Single Speed Cyclocross World Championship. Sven Nace's bike, and that bloke again. Do you I'll want start, to get started, I'll start you off. I thought it was a triathlon. <laughs> <laughs> if you can do better than that, let, you, let us know in the comment section just down below. Your best caption. We'll choose a winner to win a bottle this That's time really next week. That's really tickled me, that. I've won a bottle. Pretty much, <laughs> mate. That has tickled me. You have like that. Have I? No. Oh. It's now time for Cycling Shorts. We've got a bumper pile of washing this week, and we're going to start off with this. Now, along with Dan offering to shave off his hair, it's yet to happen, but I'm sure he'll do it. Yeah, soon. Other people have been taking to their bikes in the virtual world of Zwift to raise money for the same great cause, World Bicycle Relief. Now, amongst others, there was Sean Yates and Andy Hampston, both donning retro virtual 7-Eleven kit. That's cool. That was cool. Michael Matthews was also riding, Yeng's bike was also riding, and Matt Hayman, the Paris Bay winner. Absolutely awesome day of, uh, of fundraising yeah. in a virtual world. We beat Jens Vogt in a, in a race on Zwift. We, we did. Don't want to remind yeah. him about you it. Were you were right. I, I, I jumped in the Sean Yates ride along with 70 other people. It was great fun. Did you sit yeah. the half wheel on him? A couple 
of times. <laughs> uh, so far, as we record this at least, the cumulative number of miles ridden by all of the participants is over 312,000 miles, or wow. over 500,000 kilometres. And that was easy enough to surpass the target needed to be met in order for Trek to donate $45,000 of their own money to World Bicycle Relief. And if you factor in all of the fundraising by the various participants, that is over double. Has anyone phoned up Trek yet to ask whether they want to donate to... Um I'm, uh, I'll get somebody on it. <laughs> yeah. Right, now, away from the world of Zwift, uh, a long way away, in fact, and we've got to give a big shout-out to the Canadian cyclist Hank Van Wielden, who is just setting off this week on what he has called his big Antarctic... Un that's easy for you to say. Thanks. Antarctic Adventure. And that's aptly named because he is attempting a world first, which is cycling from the South Pole to the Antarctic coast, wow. which is pretty nuts. Now, the coolest thing here, for me at least, is his bike. I've Take a look at this. Nice. This is possibly the fattest fat bike of all time. His tires are 11 inches wide, although the eagle-eyed amongst you will notice that there's actually two five and a half inch tires next to each other. So yes, technically his bike does have four wheels, but it's still a bike, gives a break. Custom made by Carver Cycles to his own design, it's got 18 hub gears. 18? Yeah. All in the hub? Yeah, and a titanium frame. And he, wow. you notice he's got no panny rack. He drags everything behind him in a sled made of oh, carbon right. fibre. Oh, yeah. Extreme. That yeah, very cool, isn't it? Well, changing the subject quite dramatically, you might remember that we reported on pro rider Phil Gaiman of Cannondale Drapak, calling an end to his career at the end of this year. But it feels like he's very much enjoying his last hurrah before he, enjoy, before he joins the rest of us in retirement. Uh, he's been on a mission. A Strava mission around Los Angeles. This was reported on by Cycling Tips. It appears that the initial thoughts behind said mission were to take back the KOM set by a locally known drug cheat, which seems like a commendable thing to it do. It does indeed, fair yeah, fair play. However, 150 Strava KOMs into this, wow. we're starting to wonder whether he's just addicted to Strava. It's quite easy to do. It's it is easily both. done, yeah. Yeah, those kudos when they start rolling in. Yeah, very noble, noble, yeah. noble of uh, old Phil. Yeah. Best luck with that, mate. Well, continuing with the retirement theme, the Bradley Wiggins saga continues to roll oh, on. Will he? Now? Won't he? Well, regardless of whether he will or he won't, he is going to be paid, apparently, and by mm. British Cycling, because they have announced that in their list of funded riders for 2016 and 2017, Bradley Wiggins is on that list. So, further speculation there as to whether or not he is going to be competing next year. Right, we've had artistic cycling, we've had single speed cyclocross, you ready for this? Yeah. It's now time for Cycle Ball. Now, if you haven't heard of Cycle Ball, I don't know where the heck you have been because it's a UCI discipline for crying out loud. Is it? Take a look at this. These guys are off the scale in terms of their skill. Now, particularly in relation to the ball, that is half a kilo in weight, Whoa. 400 grams, made of horse hair. Crikey. And the runaway champions for the last five years who won, away, won this time again it was Austria. They're unbeaten in this particular discipline. They beat Switzerland in the final and hosts Germany run out with the bronze medal. I wonder whether we should head off and try and compete in one of them oh, next year. Out of all of those, I think the cyclocross. Yeah, well, that's well you've got to watch, Matt, because if you know. may come back with a commemorative tattoo and I'm not sure oh, that's yeah. quite a risk. Pretty big chance of that. Yeah. You willing to get a yeah. tattoo? If I'd won that, I think I would. If I weirdly managed to win that, I think I'd be happy with a tattoo. There is a challenge nice. laid down. There is also the point that's probably the only one we could do. But if you would like to see us do any of those three next year, let yeah. us know in yeah. the comment section down have below. A, Cast your vote. Which one should GCN cover? Single speed to see Cycle ball. Please. Cycle cross. Or artful I don't gymnastics. Think we get, I don't think we get insurance for the uh, artistic gymnastics. What about for more helmets? <laughs> Don't forget, if you've got anything you've done in the past that you think might have been a crime against cycling, get it off your chest. Go to the link in the description just down below and let us know what it is. And maybe next week we shall read it out. Last week's confession came in from a man called Joshua Lim. Now you might remember that he did a local race, the four fifth cats, and because he got dropped fairly quickly and wasn't feeling very good, he decided to fake a puncture. That's right, he let his front wheel down and then walked back to the start finish area, being photographed by a number of people who then put it up on social media and said, mechanicals happen. Well, you did vote in your droves, and I can tell you, Joshua, that our listeners and viewers, listeners, our viewers have decided by a majority of 56% that you are guilty oh, of a crime gosh. against cycling, and therefore I sentence you to a life behind bars. Guilty.
Right, this week's cycling confession has been sent in by Bretters. Back to pseudonyms now. Uh, it's, it's pretty brutal, this one. You ready? My wife and I had a rare Saturday off together and thought what better way to spend the day together than a ride with a cafe stop. Her birthday was a few weeks earlier and she was wearing the new cycling shorts I'd gotten her from her favourite local bike shop. She was also riding her fairly new bike. It was a perfect day for a ride, low temperatures, no wind, plenty of sun. As we were heading down the road, I noticed two cats on the left side of the road. We had big problems with stray cats in our area and I thought it was funny to zip by them and scare them back into the yard. As I found out though, some cats aren't too smart. One of them decided to dart into the road and not the yard. As I locked up my brakes to safely avoid hitting said cat, it continued further into the road and was met by my wife's front wheel. She went down on her left side, I'm guessing to protect her Shimano components. <laughs> I couldn't believe what I'd just done. I ran over to my wife as she lay in the road with a dazed look on her face. I felt the worst I've ever felt in my life. Her road rash was pretty bad and took a while to heal. Ooh. And needless to say, this stupid act cost us some money to replace what equipment was Money, ruined. that's what he's worried about. Yeah, but thankfully, she didn't leave me. And we are still married to this day. He wow. then goes on to say that he blames his crime against cycling on the cats. But, you know, you can, I'm not even <laughs> sure you can claim oh, diminished God, responsibility, cats, can no. you really? Well, I know how I'd vote. Well, I think I know how I would vote as well. <laughs> yeah. How will you vote? Make sure you let us know by clicking just up there. Guilty or not guilty. Despite the plethora of other world championships taking place over the last week, we thought we'd still give a shout out to the slightly more serious world of cyclocross with gears. Mm. The Super Prestige Series took place on the infamously difficult Spa Francorchamps circuit, and Matty Vanderpool came second. Oh. Wout Van Aert finally managed to get the better of him and end Van Der Poel's winning streak in that particular contest. And amazingly, it's Van Aert's first win since November the 1st. Now, I quite frankly would have quite liked to have two wins within the space of six weeks. I was but in say, Belgium, that doesn't sound that bad. That has been it? deemed as a disaster in the national newspapers. The world is going to be a humdinger, though, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, in the women's event was fellow world champion Talita de Jong, who took the win ahead of Sanakan with Christina Majerus, who took third. We're going to put the Sanakan joke in? or No. We didn't, I didn't. I didn't Not this time. Pause. Okay. Sanakan. Give, give her a week off. Comment of the week now. Underneath last week's Ask GC ending was this absolute pearler from somebody simply known as Phil. Oh, Phil. You always say GCN is free to subscribe. We Which do. It is. it is. But I've bought 10K in bikes. That's 10,000 in bikes. I don't, 10, don't know what currency, bikes. do we? Some sort of currency, but it's clearly quite punchy yeah. because of your videos. Isn't that a good thing? I bet he's got some nice bikes then, as a result. Phil, get in mm -hmm. touch. Show us your bikes. Y yeah. You might have see Phil's bikes. bikes. Never know. Yeah, uh, underneath how to make every ride epic, Briss Focus put, call that epic, it's luxury. I once rode 30 hours a day wow. in a lake wearing only a rolled up newspaper. I ended up dying from exhaustion and then rode some more. That Seems does like... sound like a proper epic, that, doesn't it? it? Well, this one, Nicholas Woodley, he too has got an epic ride story. He said, we did a ride so epic that we went past black and white and had to sepia the last <laughs> 10k. No, that is it. We didn't even go down the CP route, but that is we, we couldn't get the insurance, could we? No. On the channel this week, on Wednesday, we've got five nutrition tips from none other than Sir Chris Hoy. On Thursday, we've got the top 10 most successful race bikes of the 2016 season. Wow, well, that'd be interesting. Mm. Friday is, once again, Ask GC Anything. And then Saturday's pro bike is the US National Cyclocross Champions, Katie Compton's Trek Boone. Supposedly, the best prep race bike Last he's ever really? seen. Yeah, he was blown away by it. Right, on Sunday, I take you behind the scenes and show you how a power meter is made. And that, more specifically, is the PowerTap P1 pedal. So a cool little bit of behind the scenes access there. And then on Monday, we show you how to measure and cut your steerer tube. So getting rid of those unsightly protrusions. Oh, then Tuesday. Oh, the Tuesday. 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 Uh, on Tuesday. Hold on a minute. It just, I think it's a GCN show. 205. <sighs> It's time now for Extreme Corner. And this week, it's not mountain biking, no. it's cyclocross, specifically Whoa. the KMC Crossfest and their Wall of Death. It's pretty cool. Check it's it out. Amazing.
Oh, that was a gnarly descent. It was. Well, shouldn't laugh, but still. You'd have been fine though, I think. Because you wouldn't have been clipped in, so you got your foot down straight Probably, away. Probably, yeah, landed on the feet of the ball. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure that going out, going down a descent, not clipped in, is the, is the safest way of going out. I think that's probably the <laughs> possibly not. Yeah. You can try it out. Can't you? It looked like a mega race, though. It didn't did. it? it look mega. Yeah. Well, that brings this week's GCN show to a close. Yeah. However, before you go, a reminder that at shop.globalcyclingnetwork.com we are selling our special edition Christmas jumpers, and they are selling out fast. So make sure you head over there quickly if you want one. Yeah, and before leaving this show, once for all, do make sure you subscribe to GCN if you don't already. It's completely free. To do it, you just got to click on the globe. Yeah. Now, we talked a lot about cyclocross through this week's GCN show, so an appropriate video to throw to right now is just in the top corner up there. It's top 10 uh, skills from Tom Last to do with cyclocross. No leotards. You never know. If you take a close look, it might be one in the background. But another video that we referenced in this week's show, how to make every ride epic. Click down there. Yeah, and make sure you give this show a thumbs up, by the way. We'd very much appreciate it. And share as well. <laughs>